But here's an SAT math trick you can use to solve this problem. So it says, which of the following expressions is equivalent to x squared minus 2x minus 5 over x minus 3? Well, if we take our numerator, and let's call our numerator f of x. So let's say then f of x equals our numerator, which is x squared minus 2x minus 5. Well, then what we can do is if we call our denominator x minus a, we know then that f of whatever a is will give us our remainder over x minus 3. Okay, so whatever f of a equals, that's going to be our remainder. Now keep in mind our remainder has to be divided by that x minus 3 since that's what's in our denominator. But by doing this, we can find our answer really quickly because we see all of our remainders are different. So this will help us get to our answer really quickly. So we know that we're just going to be plugging in a for x in this equation, f of x. Now in this case, we know that our denominator is x minus 3, therefore a will be 3. So now we can just go ahead and solve. So now that you know this trick, watch how quickly I can solve this. I plug in, I'm just doing f of 3. That's going to equal 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 5. 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 2 times 3, that's going to be minus 6, and then minus 5. 9 minus 6 leaves me with 3. 3 minus 5 leaves me with negative 2. My only answer with this negative 2 here is going to be answer choice D, so D will be my answer. So notice how much quicker that was than actually writing out this full division problem right here. Okay, if I was to take the time and do that full division problem, that's going to take me a lot longer than that, about 30 seconds or less, that it took me to solve for what f of 3 was. Okay, so that's a little SAT math trick you can use to save time. So keep in mind that that's for when your numerator, you call your numerator f of x, and then in your denominator, it has to be x minus a, and then a is the value that you're going to plug in for your x in that f of x to solve for your remainder. And that'll get you your remainder, but keep in mind you have to put your remainder then over your denominator, which in this case was x minus 3. So hopefully that was helpful and hopefully, hopefully you can use that on the SAT math section to save some time.